catching cheaters and proud of it. Ow, I'm sorry. It's your home for War of the Roses on Mojo in the Morning. Raquel. Yeah. So you think that your boyfriend could be cheating on you. You guys been together for a long time. Yeah. How many years? Uh, it's been six years. And what is it that now makes you think that he might be cheating? Um, we've been living together, you know, for a long time. Um, and uh, I, so he's a he's a personal trainer. And the other day, I was like emptying his gym bag, and I found these like hair elastics and lifting gloves. Um, but they were for women. Like, they clearly weren't his size. Uh, and, yeah, he's already very personal with his clients. And I, I don't know. It's, so it's a lot. So, have, so you're thinking that he's possibly cheating with one of his clients? Yeah. And it is only recently that you started having this feeling? Or have you had this while he's, you know, been doing this and been you guys have been in a relationship with each other? Um. It's it's been going on for a while where I'm just like he's very supportive, like a little too supportive of his clients. Like they'll send him these pictures of their bodies before and after, you know. And he's he's like really, really supportive. Which like, I always he, wonder why you have to do that mm-hmm. to a to a trainer. Like well, why especially do you, you're, you see them in person. Right. Yeah, you, you already know, what, know what they look like. Right. Um. Right. Uh, how is he with you? Is does he give you attention? Um. Kind of, I don't know. It's been a little weird lately, too. Um, I just found out I'm expecting, and uh, okay. so it's just been a little... <laughs> and, it, and is uh, this the first, your first? Yeah, this is, our, this is our first. So it leaves you probably a little bit lacking in maybe maybe a little bit of confidence right now, or...? Yeah, I'm not feeling super great about myself and my, my health in general about it, and it just really, it sucks. Like, he's... He's not really that excited for it, and he's. I feel like he's gotten more and more into his work. Okay. And just a quick question. Does he only train women, or does he train men also? Uh, He trains men sometimes, but mostly women. Is he usually as attentive to the male clients as he is to his female clients? I haven't really noticed, I'll be honest. I've only really noticed, like, the female ones. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm not really going through his phone, you know? Yeah. All right, we're going to call him up. We're going to see where he's going to send a dozen free roses. If you can mute your phone so that he doesn't get suspicious, do that right now. And we're hoping that the flowers go to Raquel. It's the War of the Roses. Hello. Hi, is this Terry? Yeah, hi. Hi, Terry. My name is Nicole, and I'm calling you from a brand new online floral company called RosesBloom.com with an offer for some free flowers. If you have maybe 30 seconds to answer two short survey questions for me, we're going to give you um, a beautiful bouquet of flowers, a dozen long-stemmed red roses that can be shipped out today anywhere in the country to the person of your choice, absolutely free of charge. Not going to ask you for any sort of credit card information or anything like that. We're just trying to get our name out there as a, a new company. Uh, Would you be? Just, just totally free? Totally free. Yep. Uh, I won't ask you for any financial information. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay. Terry, do, have you purchased flowers in the last six months? No. And do you plan on purchasing flowers in the next six months? Uh, I- I hadn't really thought about it. Okay. Well, as a thank you for participating in that rosesbloom.com survey, I'm now authorized to provide you with that one dozen long-stemmed red roses. So I'm going to get a bunch of info from you, and I'm going to start a profile just so we have everything. It'll make it a lot quicker the next time you hopefully order flowers from us. And we'll start with a first and a last name of who you want these to go to today. Uh, Let's send them to... Let's send them to Laura... Okay. And what is Laura's relationship to you? Uh, she's, a, she's a she's a client of mine. I'm a, I, I work with her. 
Okay. And Terry, do you have Laura's uh, phone number? Uh, yeah. Um, wait, so wait, what do you send to her? Well, we're going to send her a text message telling her that she's getting a flower delivery. We just don't like love the flowers to be sitting outside. Um, and also, and we're going to record this in just a second, we do a digital voice card in lieu of a paper card. So that will also be texted to her so she can listen to that and know who the flowers are from. Oh, okay. Terry, do you have that number? Uh, I do. One second. It is... It's two, two, four, eight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and record that digital voice card, just something that would be on a normal card. So nothing crazy long, okay? And I'm going to count you down. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, Laura. Uh, congrats on all the hard work. So proud of your progress. Okay. And Terry, that, I... That sound? Nope, that was perfect. Yep. Okay. I also have to let you know that this call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. Are you okay with that? Oh, yeah, sure. Great. Terry, I'm just going to get a couple more things from you, and then we're going to get you off the phone, and we will send those flowers. Um, before I do that, I just need to add, uh, let you know one last thing. Wait, While uh, Yeah? While we've been talking to you and you've been sending these flowers off, your girlfriend, Raquel, has been listening in and just heard you send flowers to another woman. What? I don't, I don't understand. I thought this was just free flowers. Well, they are free, free flowers, but your girlfriend, Raquel, called us up because she felt uncomfortable with you. Uh, you and other women and wanted to know who you would send a dozen free roses to and you just sent them not to her but you sent them to another person I mean well <laughs> yes obviously there's another person but like it's, a, it's a somebody I've been working with so it's nothing other than you're just trying to do good business yeah I mean she, she's a client has been working working real hard. She's 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 uh, made great improvements, and I, I mean, I just worked with her, I, so it was fresh in my mind. I, I just thought rewarding that, you know. I right. guess my question would be: You and Raquel just got some great news that you guys are expecting. She's your girlfriend of quite some time. Why was she not the first person you thought of? I, I mean. I don't, I don't know. I'm at work, maybe, because it's uh, this is more it's on my mind. I, I, it's what does it what does it matter? It's not. It's nothing Ra going on. Raquel, does it matter? Yeah, it matters. Wow, you're gonna give this to your client? <laughs> um, we're about to have I, a I baby. I don't buy it for her. They were free. It's just some. It's just like a freebie thing. Yeah, and maybe I'm deserving of the free or any of your attention at all. I think that the big thing that Raquel is feeling is that she's feeling like you are doing this more so than just these flowers. That you're showing a lot more attention to other women than you show her. I'm, I mean, I don't. I'm just, I'm just working with them. But have you been spending more time at work than you have with your pregnant girlfriend? I, I don't know. Didn't put a clock on it, but yeah, I work. I work a lot. It's, you know. We're gonna let you guys talk to each other some more by yourselves, okay? All right. We're pretty good. Don't miss this. Mojo in the morning. When we come back here next, is it wrong that he's sending flowers to a client? I mean, I don't think that the card was very incriminating of what he said, but are we all just looking into something that maybe there's not anything really there other than it's a client? Um, comments on that and 
your thoughts. I know a lot of people have them because I'm looking at these text messages right now. Call us up. We'll be right back. Join the discussion now. 844-MOJO-LIVE. 844-665-6548. This is the home of War of the Roses. Mojo in the Morning. This is the home of War of the Roses. Mojo. Mojo in the Morning. Mojo in the Morning show. Just a, a few moments ago, a girlfriend heard her boyfriend and the father of her baby, she just found out that she was pregnant, send flowers to another woman. But was it really him sending them to her out of love or cheating or was it good business? <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I listen, I never usually do give benefit of the doubt. I'm not a benefit of the doubter <laughs> type of a person. But uh, I don't know. Uh, he's a personal trainer, which a lot of people, you know, will tell you that there's a lot of cheating in, you know, personal trainers. They but, get a bad rap. But I think, yeah, they I think get a bad looking, rap. I think we're looking for something here. I don't uh, know yeah. that he did anything. I think yeah. he's just stupid. It's I don't think very, he's very divided. I know. By I'm, the way, I'm everybody's s- divided. I'm super torn because it feels like even if it wasn't romantic, it's a weird line to cross with a client. Uh, I really? I to send a congratulatory so. like you're doing great? War, a, a dozen roses congratulatory? <laughs> uh-huh. See, but like the more uh-huh. I think about it, he doesn't seem like the type of guy that's going to just buy his girl flowers. Do you know him? No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I just, that's how it feels. It feels. I mean, there are guys. I feel like there are guys out there that don't buy flowers. That's just not their but thing. But didn't he answer my questions as yeses? Oh, uh, yeah. He sent flowers. Yeah. Did he? What? I'm gonna be quiet. Now I'm confused. No, he <laughs> said he hadn't my... bought flowers, and then he didn't know if oh, he was okay. going to. Yeah. 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 Never that there you go. Proof that Shannon doesn't write down his responses. <laughs> <laughs> she's not. She's not checking I, I, boxes. No, honestly, I get so nervous sometimes. I just want to make sure to write down the name of who they're going to and the phone number so yeah. we have it. Yeah. Uh, Tom, what's going on? It's Mojo in the morning. War of the Roses. What are your thoughts? Uh, hey guys, love you. Um, so I used to work at a gym and not as a trainer, but uh, my my coworkers there. We never. We gave out gifts to any of our um, clients for um, and for uh, for their progress goals. It's, yeah, honestly, yeah. It, it just feels like it's very suspicious. I, I do, I can't say for certain that he is cheating or not, but uh, I mean, Raquel has every reason in the world to have her radar up, and yeah, I would just keep a, keep a close track on him because I just don't don't trust him. Yeah, it, it seems. Tommy, you sound very nervous. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. yeah. Are I'm you nervous? nervous. Three roses <laughs> <you are. laughs> no, it's okay. Poor thing. <laughs> as soon as you started talking, I'm like, he's terrified. <laughs> you didn't get caught cheating. You good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence, what's up? It's Mojo in the morning. Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? Good. What's happening? I was just telling the lady that he's doing a lot of too much I, 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 like he's trying to find excuses to say. Or yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There was there was there wasn't there wasn't a smoothness to his voice. I don't I I don't think that we had uh, much going on there. You know. Yeah, he's trying to think of something to say to to excuse. Yeah, some of us just stutter though. Okay, some of us just aren't smooth. He's he's probably much better when he's telling her what to do. You know. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Lori? Hi. Hi. Um, I just have to say, I think it says a lot about how he feels about this pregnancy by not sending them to his girlfriend. Yeah, that, that like that's the thing. Mm-hmm. This is such a huge, it's a monumentous occasion in their life and relationship. And you would think that that would be just top of mind. But if that's not the kind of yeah. guy he is, he just isn't going to magically start sending flowers just because she's pregnant. But okay, he but gave them to clients? somebody else. Yeah. Of, and of all of the clients that he has, why this particular client? Because she's got yeah. the best progress. Can I tell you what scares uh, yeah. me about this? She's doing a great job, it sounds like. <laughs> what scares me is they they have been together as a couple for six years, and they just find out that they're pregnant. This isn't a, I dated you for six months, and oh, crap, mm. we got pregnant. So if you're not excited about having a baby, which she obviously said that he's not been that excited about this whole thing, and you've been with somebody for six years, your feelings towards 
the person that is now carrying your baby has not been that great. Because I, yeah, I, I, I you're not thinking your life is now suddenly changing six years later and you're going to have a baby. You're thinking, holy crap, this is unbelievable. We're having a baby. Mm-hmm. Or you know, I, I that's the part of me that scares me. Um, John, what's happening? It's Mojo in the morning. War of the Roses. Good morning, Mojo. How are you doing? Good. We're doing pretty good. Thank you for listening, man. I appreciate you for doing that. What's yeah. going on? So basically, at our work, we have something called the Booster Morales clients and coworkers. So what we got to do is we got to put on the bottom of our night letter on what did you do for a worker for morale booster, and you got to do something for like once a month. So. For, so that's part of our evaluation. Really? What What do you yeah. do for a living? I'm an engineer. So you guys have to do a morale booster for for the the clients, huh? Right. And so if you were offered a dozen free roses, we called you up. Would you send those to a client? Heck yeah, it's free. And it wasn't going to cost you anything. So you're seeing that this guy could be very legitimate in his giving this to a client. And not would, not so spending good. money, not spending heart his hard earned and Raquel's hard earned money right. on, on flowers. Right. Okay. I mean, listen, I I've sent gifts to clients. Yeah. For sure. I I I'll, I will tell you this that there are t- there are very much so times where I would uh, I would say that that's probably a good case for a lot of people where a lot of people would say you know what this is an opportunity to give to somebody that I don't have to actually come out of my own pocket with but, and if you're going to do that I'd rather have that be you doing that to your client not doing that to the woman that's now carrying your baby don't you give to clients when you need to give to client when you feel obligated I, uh, I don't know. No. This just seems no. very what romantic. Kind of, let's talk to Megan's clients. Yeah. And <laughs> but it's also oh, the Steve flower Gavara, choice. are you there? It's also the flower choice. And that's why I usually try to repeat myself of, it's a it's long-stemmed red roses. Yeah. But red like, roses nowadays don't mean anything, I don't think. I, if I, Ro- I, red roses I've to me are just before. the color of roses. If you, <laughs> Kev, Mike, Zach, gave me long-stemmed red roses for just uh-huh. spits and giggles, I don't... I think I see, would feel a little uneasy. See, it's interesting yeah. that you say that because if I gave uh, if I gave white roses or pink roses to you, I think Chelsea would be more uneasy because that is something that means something to her. So I uh-huh. think that roses to me, it's generic. E, uh-huh. you know what I mean? No, I don't. That's I don't why we do War of the Roses and not War of the Daisies. <laughs> I understand that War of the Sunflowers, <laughs> the petunias. But, but I but, go for tulips. Um, <laughs> They're <okay>. romantic. <laughs> Leah, what did you want to say? So I agree. First of all, that he may just be a little stupid. <laughs> My question would be. <laughs> Extremely large, and she or was extremely large, and she lost an extreme amount of weight. Did she have a, some type of um, something going on with her that prevented her from being able to do the workouts initially? And she she made some awesome progress physically. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe she had a health condition or something. I like if what? that was a reason, then yeah, that's a reason to reward her. However, roses are. Very, I don't like flowers myself personally. However, roses are very intimate, so. Yeah. That's something that you usually give to someone that's extremely special. Is this bad to say this, but seeing the client and knowing what the progress was, would that change our opinion? (laughs) Like you brought up a really interesting point. If the client was somebody that was overweight, really overweight, and maybe this guy, you know, uh, was so happy for the fact that she's made some amazing progress, would we say, okay, well, all right, we see this. Or is that bad to say that, saying, okay, he wouldn't be attracted to her, you know? Oh, no. I think context in any situation matters. And the caller brings up a great point. She could have hit a, a major milestone. It could have, Who knows what it could have been? But I think he's just dumb, man. Like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't yeah. just jump out the line and say he's a cheater. What's up, Jill? Good morning. Um, his excuse was that they were free, but like, again, why didn't you send them to your girlfriend that you just found out is going to have your baby? And he said, I just worked with her, so she was, like, fresh on my mind. Yeah, but your girlfriend's not? Like, that's not your priority? Yeah. But that, I also see Mojo's point me. of, like, roses aren't, like, that. Like if I was going to get my wife something, it'd be lilies. It wouldn't be, ever be roses. I would never even think to give her roses. Ever. But the context mm. of roses okay. is yeah. romantic. Right. So, so Mike, yeah. I just want to wanna flip Uh-oh. this for just so your brain can examine this another way. Okay? <laughs> Let's say that Allie worked with 
a, a dentist in the uh-huh. office she works at and Is she got him and and he's the funniest guy she's ever known <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and she gets him cologne just okay. because he mm-hmm. he got a promotion mm-hmm. i feel like that's Ooh. like a very intimate gift yep. right she got him cologne just because so it doesn't how are you gonna feel free right uh, I would feel well. She given the cologne, and is it his favorite kind of cologne? You just oh answer God, the damn why? question. <laughs> well, why does he know? Don't well, lie right now. Why does he know what his favorite cologne is? It though. would bug me. Yes, it, I would definitely say it up red flags. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what yes. A, what about this though, Jill? Uh, Crystal, what was your comment? Good morning. Um, I, my comment was if you listen, you know, to his text, his voice text. It's clearly professional. That's what I I think, too. Yeah. It's nothing romantic. Roses are intimate, absolutely, but he's thinking freebie. And, you know, like, maybe he's thinking, you know, Raquel, like, you know, they're confident in their relationship. So he wasn't even thinking, you know, that's why he was stupid thinking about just giving her the flowers, you know, the client, the flowers instead. Yeah, his... his confident in his relationship. His voice memo note that he sent was not a voice memo note of a guy... That's right. lusting so after this question, person. I have a question. Is she in his voice disguised ever? No. Because and we know, get busted a lot. A very distinct voice. So. Yes, but yeah, I was gonna. Yeah. Say, you- we get busted a lot. We, we get busted a lot, and I got to be honest with you: the ones that we get busted a lot with don't ever make it to the air because they're busted in about five seconds. It's usually hi, I'm and Boone is a hi, Shannon. You know, what I mean, so mm-hmm. that happens. Like click, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, you guys have a great day. You, too. you too. Take All care of right, yourself. Okay. All right, War of the Roses. If you think you're uh, getting cheated on, text cheater to nine five five zero zero. This is the home of the second date update. War of the Roses.